What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video I want to talk about the new adjust loudness feature in Studio One 5.5 that's been added to the project page and why I think it's a little weird. Uh, so let's first talk about what adjust loudness is. In the project page under digital release under loudness we have an option to click adjust loudness and what this does is it's going to set your loudness to match a specific reference from a target platform in this example we've got Spotify here we can hit drop down and see a bunch of others but uh, Spotify wants to see negative 14 luffs and what this adjust loudness will do is when you export your master Studio One will say okay we're going to adjust this down to negative 14 luffs if we need to if it's needed so this is a song called uh, Smurf Cruise from an artist named Smurf Diggity from my hometown Memphis, Tennessee uh, that I recently mastered and in this master I used the uh, Just Loudness and this is my first time using it here. Normally uh, when I've been mastering I've been using the uh, Sonable Smart Limit and which you can do, do the same thing here. We've got the drop down you can select your uh, reference here and you can see with what I have set up here in the smart limit look down here Spotify will turn down the track by 1.5 DB okay cool thanks for letting me know that so this is why I feel the adjust loudness is a little weird under digital release we click this export it and studio one will adjust it if we need to but we don't know if it is adjusting it it's like uh, sending a package without a tracking number yeah, I trust it's going to get there, but with the tracking number, I know how it got there. And with the adjust loudness feature in Studio One as it stands right now, it's just going to adjust it if it needs to, but we really don't know what's happening after we click OK here. And that's what's a little weird to me. Uh, other limiters or other adjust loudness features that I use on other plugins tell me what it's doing or tells me what I need to do. Now, you might not find this a uh, problem. It's a little weird to me, but you know, I would just like to know, say once I click OK, have a pop-up where Studio One says, hey, just a heads up, we're turning this down by 2 dB. OK, cool. So I want you to comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Studio One should let you know what it's doing after you click OK and it exports it? or do you not care? Do you like how it is now? Just click OK and let it adjust it and do whatever it's doing to it. Not whatever it's doing to it, but let it do, uh, let it adjust the loudness without telling you what it's doing. Do you mind that or would you want to know? Comment and let me know. Uh, be sure to check out Smurf Cruise. It's available on all platforms now. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.